You out here plagiarizing? You talking about plagiarizing in 2020? Like... Oh man, shit's getting fucking crazy. Yo, it's your boy Rob Lee back here. We had another video. This is some new type of videos that I'm doing. Like I said in the last video, bro, I'm getting away from all these, you know, reaction videos. You know, I'm gonna do reactions here and there. You know, I test it and it, it is, it's, it's not working for me, bro. It's not working for me. And I know y'all see the Wu-Tang shirt on, you know, because Wu-Tang Clan. Let me tell you something about Wu-Tang Clan. Wu-Tang Clan, I got a secret. Ain't nothing to fuck with. Wu-Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with. And that's on me. So today we talking about B. Simone, bro. Let me just tell you guys something real quick, man. You know, you know my favorite girl in the world? You know who my favorite girl in the world is? Fucking Karma. It's this, it's this girl named Karma, and she really put in the work, yo. Like, when I say Karma puts in the work, and she really just, you know, she go ham. Like, Karma goes ham, bro. Karma, she she will come, like, yo, when, when they call Karma, like, Karma, look, I need you. I got a situation here. I need you to go and take care of this for me because, yeah, this person did some dirt, and they, they got it coming. She's like, look. I'm on my way now. I'm already on the job. You didn't even have to call. You didn't even have to call. Yo, Karma be on the fucking job. But yeah, let me tell you about B. Simone. So, B. Simone's been in the news for the last, like, I don't know, uh, two, three weeks now. Now, B. Simone was first on in the, uh, in the news because she said some crazy stuff about people, or specifically men, who work nine to fives. And... Basically, she said, and uh, she was on an interview with Nick Cannon, which, you know, ironic in itself, um, that, you know, that she don't, she's not going to date anybody with a 9 to 5, that a dude with a 9 to 5 don't understand why she's up at 3 a.m. and stuff like that. I'm not going to go too deep into, you know, how I feel about that specifically, um, but I'll just say off the jump, I think putting out that type of rhetoric and putting out that type of mindset really is dangerous and uh i know this is gonna be corny as hell but i hope girls that are watching be simone do not be simone don't be her all right don't do not think like her because like i said but you know what at the end of the day the guy makes the decision like i personally just don't like women like that who think like that who think you know the whole uh it, like i said i can make a whole other video on the mind state of women when it comes to what men should have and you know whether they should pay all the bills and all that other stuff like I, I that's a whole other video we ain't talking about that but anyway she went on there she went on that little rant and you know of course that got a lot of attention and you had a lot of women out here saying some crazy stuff and all kinds of stuff going on now fast forward to uh yesterday b Simo put out a I guess she put out a book or she put out an article or something. And it's just crazy how, you know, all the crap she was talking about being an entrepreneur and making millions. And you out here plagiarizing? You out here plagiarizing? You talking about plagiarizing in 2020? Like, Yeah, so I saw some saying, I saw a couple of tweets saying B. Uh, B. Simone's manager is trying to blame the design agency for the plagiarism, but apparently either B. Simone or her manager is the owner of the design agency that they're claiming that did the plagiarism. That's weird. My, my thing is, like I said, it's 2020. Like anything you type on Google, it's going to, it's going to, pop up you know you, you know you know that right you know that you know keywords are a thing seo is a thing you're talking to a guy who's a fucking youtuber like you're gonna get caught like what were you doing but anyway it's three things that I, that that's of course my issue with one the fact that b simone you know she's saying all the stuff that she said last week or the week before about you know having a nine to five and with and with all the stuff that's going on with all the you know the black lives matter movements and stuff like that and you're out here Basically finessing your own damn people because 
one, you're talking down to your own people. Two, you're finessing your own people because you try to sell this crap and it's not even yours. And the third problem I had is my man Meek Mill. My man Meek Mill is on a Twitter rampage right now, defending B. Simone. And like, I'm not going, I don't want this to be no highly political debate video because same thing, not a video, not the time. However, I will reference this, right? Candace Owens, right? And it, it, with everything going on, you know, I've been watching some Candace Owens. I've been watching everything from both sides of the spectrum and everybody's opinions. And Candace Owens in her George Floyd rant said something about how, you know, black people like the modern criminals and stuff like that. And how we, you know, uplift the, the worst people of our community. Basically, that's what she said. And, you know, personally, that was one of the parts that I definitely thought that she didn't need to necessarily say. I felt her and when she said it, but she didn't really necessarily need to say it to make her point that she was making. Like I said, don't want to go too much on the tangent on that. But I, I think it's some truth to it. Maybe not to the degree that what she's talking about, but in this situation where you have Meek Mill basically defending a person who's wrong. Like, that's what we really got to stop doing. We can't just keep, you know, making excuses for people because they're black like us. No, when you're doing some wrong stuff, you need to get called out. When you're doing some wrong stuff, you need to be canceled. Like, legit, you need to be canceled. Like I said, man, karma out here making some moves. Karma's out here making some moves. So, you know, that's what happens. That's what happens. And people basically, you know, was responding to Meek Mill and, he's, and they're like, hey, but you was just talking about, you know, rappers, um, basically Drake, taking people's, uh, you know, lyrics and stuff. And, you know, and having ghostwriters and stuff like this. And, that, and that's what I'm saying, especially as a, as a hip hop artist myself. Like, that, that's not cool. It's not. <laughs> it's not cool. There's no, there's no defense in this. Like, you know, especially the pedestal that she put herself on like oh man i'm a self-made millionaire but now we see that now we got to question everything you're doing now we gotta like you know take it a step back and be like all right let's analyze what you're actually doing and you know just look at it in a different um lens because baby you shady you shady you shady but yeah moral of this video one do not be simone don't be simone that's my slogan Number two, stop defending people when they're freaking wrong. When you're wrong, you're wrong. Doesn't matter the color of your skin. Doesn't matter what's your affiliation. You got, and you know what? Sometimes you got to keep it real with your peeps. You got to keep it real. You got to, you know, sometimes the, you know, you're only going to listen to the people that are closest to you and the people that are on your side. When somebody on my side tell me I'm wrong, man, I'm going to listen to that hundred times more before I listen to some random person tell me that I'm wrong. And number three, have integrity in anything that you do because integrity and honesty is going to take you further than any other thing. Like if you're a scam artist, you're going to get caught eventually. If you plagiarizing, you're going to get caught eventually. If you, you know, out here down at people and stuff, people ain't going to, you know, mess with you after a while. So, you know, do your own thing, make your own choices, but do it the right way and have integrity, man. Other than that, Peace out. Check out my new song, City Is Mine. Official video is out. It's doing numbers right now, so please help me, help me out so we can keep it growing. Other than that, peace out. See you next time. Let's get it. City is mine. Ain't no holding back the light we shine. Guess it's our time. And I ain't gonna stop till I get what's mine. The city is mine. The city is mine. The city is mine. Get what's mine. Uh, looking in these devil's faces, I just stare them in the eye with no hesitation. They can never keep up with me, so they had to chase me. Lost in the city all my life, this is just a maze. Got me in their range. 
who are you to blame? When guns are drawn on you, you just hoping they can't aim. Cop interrogation, hoping they don't drop your name. Streets of be more, you just know this ain't no game. Corruption from the top, but they tell us to believe. My heart can't take no more, I just wear it on the sleeve. But damn, I contemplate, shall I really go to sleep? I open, gotta pee. Fuck niggas, try to take me down. But these niggas ain't give me no break. I gotta get it, man, whatever it takes. Uh, yeah, these motherfuckers ain't give me no time. But in no time, man, this shit gon' be mine. The city is mine. The city is mine. Ain't no holding back from the light we shine. Cause it's our time, and I ain't gon' stop till I get what's mine.